Superboy was this, like, character that returned again and again and again throughout the seasons of all that. Pickle Boy likes to hurt and tease pickles. Hello? We just went with it. Pickles? Look, this is the mind of Dan Schneider. You gotta ask him. There was this referencing to like, oh yeah, Dan just has a weird sense of humor. That was like, the pickles don't look like penises to you? <laughs> this is a children's television show. Wait, why is this in the show? What is what is the joke here exactly? There's this weird element of like, they all were able to like pull a fast one and get away with it. And that's like a part of the joke. That's just a tiny window. Unfortunately, what ends up happening with this figure here, they called him Pickle Boy, okay? That's he makes these appearances in, in various uh, scenes in different Nickelodeon shows. And and he's literally called Pickle Boy, not like not like a like an inside joke by the cast. You understand what I'm saying? Like he's referred to as Pickle Boy in the actual show that was streamed on TV for kids. His name's Brian Peck. That's who that actually was. Who you saw that? You saw uh, every, the guy from every, uh, Everyone Loves Raymond or whatever his name is. You see that he, he he's like, oh, this pickle's so good. And Brian's there like making a really weird like satisfied smile and nod. And he puts it through a hole in a door, which has some weird sexual references to. Is re is really weird. Is is really weird. Okay, it's not like Nickelodeon, uh, you know, was, you know, sued for some of these scenes. It wasn't breaking any laws at the time. But the sexual innuendos were pretty clear with what they were doing. And maybe that <laughs> raises a larger conversation. And maybe we should have some more laws around this stuff, right? That was like. Back in Sanger's era in the early 1900s, we had obscenity laws that we actually enforced. You weren't allowed, that would not have been allowed, for example, okay? So the, the, the darkest turn and aspect of the entire Quiet On Set docuseries is revolving around this individual, Brian Peck. You learn about another guy later. I'm not even gonna really get into it. Uh, his name was, um, uh, oh gosh, I have it here somewhere. Uh, uh, he ends up, uh, Azel Channel, Azel Channel ends up molesting a boy in the parking lot at Nickelodeon. They don't spend too much time on that, but that happened right after this guy, Brian Peck, ends up having a, okay, pause if you can't handle it, okay, a uh, pedophilic, uh, homosexual relationship, in quotes, with Drake. From the Drake and Josh show. What what makes this so shocking is that the world just learned about this. Like the world just learned about this. He was a minor when all this happened. So when when Brian ends up going to prison for his sex crimes, which he didn't go for very long, by the way, we'll get to that. The court documents were sealed. Drake didn't want anyone to know. He didn't tell anyone except Dan Schneider when Dan called because he knew that Brian got fired. This pickle boy got by guy got fired. Okay, he Drake didn't tell anyone except his parents. So court documents were sealed. The world never knew. He was 15 at the time, Drake, 15. Okay, I think he's like uh, five years older than me or something, something like that. I think he's like 37 or 38 now. And then he decides to tell his story for the first time in this docuseries. So like the world just learned that, oh yeah, that story from back then that we heard about with this guy named Brian Peck who was working for Nickelodeon. Like there were articles about this. Like they covered this, that he he had been indicted and sent to prison for sex crimes with a minor, but no one knew who that minor was. Drake didn't want anyone to know. So like all of this is actually fairly new in terms of the public's knowledge about what happened. Drake goes on in episode three and four to tell his story with what happened. Over the months leading up to the Drake and Josh show when he was on the Amanda show with Pickle Boy. Okay, it's super weird the kind of sexual innuendos that the writers of the show wanted in the Nickelodeon shows 